Hello everyone. We will continue the topic persistence class. And in the previous video, we started with update database operation. We validated the input using get underscore persistent method. If the input is valid, we called the various getter methods to get the order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. Now the next task is we need to bind these values with the screen fields. You are getting order date, payment mode, total amount and currency into those local variables. But we need to bind with these screen fields so that they will be available on the selection screen or input screen. Now, what we will do, if you see the screen elements, if you see the parameters name, P underscore O date, P underscore PM, P underscore TA, P underscore CUR, it means whatever the values are in our local variables, we need to bind with these parameters. Now we will simply simply make use of add selection screen output event. You all know this event calls every time whenever before displaying a selection screen or input screen. So firstly, whenever our input is correct, add selection screen event will validate the input. If the input is correct, we will get the values of order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. And we know before displaying the selection screen or input screen, add selection screen output event will trigger and we will bind the values with the screen fields. So what I will do, I will simply simply make use of the event now, add selection screen output. Now we want to bind with the screen fields in case of update database operation only. So I will simply write if P underscore R2, that is our update radio button, is equal to capital X. I will put and if. Now we will bind with the screen fields. P underscore O date, it is coming from which variable? LV underscore O date. Then we have payment mode. Then we have total amount. And then we have currency. So we simply, simply binded the variables values with the screen fields. I will check the syntax and I will activate. I will show you up to this level. I will put a breakpoint in add selection screen output event. I will put a breakpoint in add selection screen event also. I will put a breakpoint in start of selection also. Anyways, at this point of time, we have not written any logic for update in start of selection. I will run. Now, before displaying the selection screen or input screen, this particular event will trigger add selection screen output. If you want more detailed understanding, you can simply refer the ABAP programming playlist because people will confuse during initialization and add selection screen output. Initialization only called for the first time. Add selection screen output called every time before displaying a selection screen or input screen. Now I will simply run. So add selection screen output event will trigger. I will go to desktop. By default, update radio button is ticked. So P underscore R2 is capital X. Now, as of now, these all four variables are blank 
because this logic is a part of add selection screen event and we have not even validated the input as of now as of now we are just displaying the selection screen or input screen so we have blank values blank values will pass to screen elements and you can see everything is clear now i will put a right order number i am putting one suppose whenever i will put enter or whenever i will click on to this execute button you all know yes at selection screen event will trigger suppose i am putting end now you can see at selection screen event triggered now we have the object of actor class or agent class we have the object of actor class or agent class we put a right input so we have the object of cl class now the object is not initial so system will go to this if condition now the object is created now i am getting the various things as of now you can see lv underscore o date is blank now you can see we have the value of order date check in the table itself it is same to say 11th may 2023 yes we have 11th may 2023 now i will go to payment mode we are getting the values of payment mode and you can see value of payment mode is C, C. Now we will go for total amount. If I will show you LV underscore total amount, you can see as of now we are able to see the table as a value 100, but we are able to see star. Okay, I think I put the wrong data element. I'll just change. I will just change because debugging is always the tool to find out the error i will check the data element of total amount okay see this is the mistake which we have done and because of that it is not appearing i will run now I will not go for the previous part. I will just go for total amount directly. Firstly, add selection screen output triggered. I am pressing enter. Now add selection screen event triggered. Now I will come here itself on total amount. Because I pass the wrong data element, that's why it is confused. System is confused. Now you can see total amount 100. Now we have the currency LV underscore currency is INR. Now you have the values. You got the values. Now you need to bind with screen fields. You all know. Now before displaying the selection screen or input screen, every time this event will call every time at selection screen output if you want more clarity please refer the abap programming playlist but this event call every time we are modifying the selection screen or input screen and yes we are modifying previously there is no values we are now passing the values to these input fields now at selection screen output event will trigger and you can see second radio button capital X. Now I'm passing the value to parameter of order date. Just see parameter of order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. If I will do F8 and you can see we have the values. Now user can change the so what is the summary of this particular video? This video is important because I showed you everything in the debugging mode. What we have done into this particular video, whatever the values are coming into these local variables, in local variables, we passed it to screen parameters or you can say screen elements 
विद द हेल्प ऑफ एट सेलेक्शन स्क्रीन आउटपुट इवेंट बिकॉज वी ऑल नो दिस इवेंट कॉल्ड एवरी टाइम बिफोर डिस्प्लेइंग द सेलेक्शन स्क्रीन और इनपुट स्क्रीन नाउ आई डिड ए मिस्टेक देयर बाय मिस्टेक I declare the total amount as a data element of payment mode. So we got the runtime error. I corrected that error also. In the next video, we will write the logic in start of selection so that we can update the values of the payment mode, total amount, order date, and currency. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.